Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a one in eight chance. So they're really just giving us a ratio here, one to eight. And we need to find an equivalent chance. So that could be an equivalent fraction or it could be an equivalent decimal. So the nice thing about ratios is that we can view them as fractions. So we have one to eight. You could see it like this, one colon eight, or for us, we can look at it as one eighth. So now we're looking at which one of these is equal to one eighth. So that's a little bit easier. So what we can do is we can, first let's see if we can simplify this fraction here. So 100 over 125. And so we want to simplify and it looks like we can probably divide both top and bottom. Let's do that by 25. So 100 divided by 25 is going to be 4. 25 into 125 is going to be 5. So 4 fifths and 1 eighth. Yeah, that is definitely not going to work, not even anywhere close. This is less than half, this is greater than half, even just estimating, they're not anywhere close. So, not going to be that one. I could tell you right now, 125 over 10 is not going to be anywhere close. Don't have to do any work. Take a look at this. This is an improper fraction, which means this is greater than 1. My 1 eighth is way less than 1. It's actually closer to 0. So 10 goes into 125. Let's see, that's going to be once. So that's going to be 2. So that's going to be twice. And it's going to be 20, 50. And so it's going to be, if I want to make a mixed fraction, I can say Mixed number could be 12 and 5 tenths, nowhere near 1 eighth. So it's going to be one of these two. It's going to be our decimal or it's going to be our, our um, whole number here or our decimal 1.25. And once again, I could tell you that this is not going to work because it's greater than 1. And my 1 eighth is less than one, it's actually very close to zero. So simply by process of elimination, pretty sure it's going to be J, but let's do a little bit of division just to make sure. So if we ever want to turn a fraction into a decimal, you divide up, right? So you're going to take your denominator, divide that up into your numerator, and you're not going to make a mixed number. You're just going to keep dividing, keep adding zeros until you get it all the way done, unless it's repeating. Let's do this over here so we have a little bit more room. All right, so 8 goes into 1, 0 times. That's fine. What we want is a decimal. The decimal, we're going to add a 0. Let's bring this down. 8 goes into 10 once. That's 2. That's fine. We're going to add a, you can keep adding zeros as long as you want to after the decimal, and it's fine. The only problem you get is if you get into the repeating, that's when you have to put a repeating bar up there. As of now, we don't have a repeating pattern. So 8 goes into 20 twice, so that's going to be 16. And that's going to be 4. Let's add another 0. Now we look like we're in business. 8 goes into 40 five times. That's going to go evenly. So 1 eighth is equal to... 125 thousandths. And that is probably going to be a benchmark fraction that you should memorize. And if we want to turn this into a percent, we would simply move the decimal over twice. That would be 12.5%. Answer is J.